Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on web logic. In today's tutorial we are going to see command line administration. Particularly how to use this command line tool and what are the details about this command line tool we are going to see in today's tutorial. So let's start today's session. As I said we are going to learn the command line tool to achieve the administration of weblogix server it's abbreviated as wlst that is weblogix scripting tool the command line tools are very useful for optimizing the administration using the script so that suppose you want to start the weblogix server when are you start your system or if you want to monitor the logs by optimization like some writing scripts which can be optimized through this command line tool it also useful as an alternative for the administration console there will be some of the activities you will not be able to control through the weblogix admin console through the browser so in such cases the command line tool helps weblogix scripting tool provides a command line interface that configures weblogix instance and domains so in order to create the weblogix instance and domain this is also helpful also it is helpful for managing and persisting the weblogix configuration changes weblogix command line tool it enables us to retrieve domain configuration and runtime information also it edits the domain configuration and persists the changes in config.xml as like weblogix admin console which you normally access through the browser it automate the configuration tasks and application deployments so what is the basis how it is built this tool so this build is based on the jython this is the one of the technology which helps to access the weblogix related configuration and modify it very easily jython advantages include it is 100% pure java implementation of python it is very simple and clear in syntax it is fast and reliable compared to other technologies it is highly extens extensible that is nothing but we can create our own commands and by using the existing java classes weblogix scripting tool interprets the commands in two ways first interactively supplied one at a time from a command prompt so you can just provide the command on the command line or in a batch in a batch supplied in a means you have to provide the input as a script file or embedded in a java code there are two types of modes online and offline in online mode that is means your tool is connected to the server which is running the weblogix scripting tool provide the simplified access to message bins or ambience we can perform administrative tasks and initiate weblogix server instance configuration changes while connected to a running server the other tool which is offline that means even the server is not running you will still be able to access the weblogix scripting tool it is not connected to this application server running which is running the weblogix scripting tool limits access to only persisted configuration information it will not have the access to ambient so you will not able to change the configuration at run time you can create a new domain or update an existing domain without connecting to the running weblogix server so it's very advantage this is very a uh, good advantages of offline tool so no need to have your application running for creating new domain or upgrading new domain this functionality resembles that configuration wizard where using the configuration wizard we can create a domain as well as we can update the existing domain what are the modes of operations the modes of operations are listed here such as interactive script and embedded interactive means when we enter a command in the weblogix scripting tool console 
and view the response immediately. So that is interactive. We'll give the command and it will give us a response. Then the script mode. When we can create a text file with .py extension that is that is the extension for the python script so that means we have to create a python script that contains series of web logic scripting tool commands the next one is embedded mode where we can instantiate a instance of web logic scripting tool interpreter in a java code and use it to run the web logic scripting command simplified access line or command line access so how can we easily access it so weblogic scripting tool includes the capabilities of weblogic.admin this is deprecated in non.x weblogic deployer weblogic config and task configuration wizard that is silent mode so these are the functionality we can achieve through this tool it also allows us to navigate the weblogic ambin tree like a file system to access weblogic scripting tool in a non secure environment we can use weblogic that is weblogic scripting tool in a secure environment we can use java hyphen d weblogic.security.ssl ignore hostname verification equal to true hyphen weblogic security dot trust key store equal to demo trust weblogic dot wsst so these are the commands through which we can access either directly or through the security key store setting environment we have to install and configure the weblogic server software then the, we have to add the class path with the domain and we have to set the uh, variable in the set domain env also we have to add the weblogic server bin to the path variable in our system so how to access so in order to access the weblogic file you have to go to the folders location for example weblogic oracle underscore common common and bin inside this bin directory you will see the file called as a wlst.cmd or wlst.sh so you have to just click double click it it will tool will initiate this will take few uh, minutes to initiate so this is called as a weblogic uh, command line tool scripting tool and right now it is offline because my server is not running so you can access that way weblogic scripting tool command requirements they are use uh, they are case sensitive names and argument of the command so if you do the typo error the command will not work use arguments enclosed on single or double quotes it precedes the quoted during by r while specifying black, uh, backslash in a string for example read template r and then in the quotes you have to pass some path note these invalid characters in object names while using the weblogic scripting tool offline period is dot forward slash and backward slash you cannot access security information through weblogic scripting tool while updating a domain if you want to see the help you can just uh, use this help section using this command how to run the script weblogic scripting tool incorporates two jython functions that supports running script java vari uh, java weblogic dot wlst file path dot py py which provides weblogic scripting tool and executes a script file in a single command exe file that is file path dot py which execute a script file after you invoke weblogic scripting tool what are the commands here I, I have just listed few of the command there are so many commands you can find on the weblogic uh, website like here I have just listed connect, disconnect, exit, read domain, update domain or start, suspend, shut down, start server, resume so these are the commands you can fire from the scripting tool, weblogic scripting tool 
I would show you maybe uh, one command for example if you just I will just give the connect because I don't know exactly uh, what are the parameters so if you type connect function connect one so it is asking the arguments actually so right now I have not passed the argument that is the reason it is the giving this information so similarly you can execute the various commands so, uh, just we have saw the start command or disconnect command or connect command those commands can be used through the weblogic scripting tool it is as good as handling all the activities through the weblogic admin console which we normally access through the browser if something cannot be controlled through the browser then it is the easiest way to use the scripting tool I hope this introduction to the scripting tool help you to understand a basic concept about the scripting tool to control or to administer the weblogic. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.